Prepare yourself. Ang Silid Aralan sa Radyo Hating Damin ay makabagong paraan ng pagtuturo at kalaman Mapaumaga, tanghali o hapon man yan Ang istasyong magbibigay impormasyon kahit sa man Alright, here we go 106.3 Dance Radio Doña Aurora National High School Santa Rita Aurora Isabela This 106.3 DWDRFM Facts and information Today's learning for you normal With capable teachers Whose heart and soul are divine Delivered knowledge inside your home Through 106.3 Dance Radio Fully dedicated to serve the public in tribute to education reproduce of radio-based instruction. We are pleased to deliver the utmost aim of education only here on 106.3 DWDRFM. Day may not be good, but there's always something good in every day. Good day, grade 10 learners. I'm teacher Dennis. With me is teacher Beverly Lamides to give us the introduction. Hello, our dear Donians. Good morning and a blessed Wednesday to everyone. Today is another amazing day, another opportunity, and another chance for each and everyone to learn something new. So our officer in charge, the CID Chief of SDO Isabella. Good morning, Sir Rodrigo V. Pasqua. Also, an amazing morning to our head teachers, especially to Ma'am Ophelia Raltin of the English Learning Area. And to all teachers and staff of Doña Aurora National High School, good morning, good morning to the parents, dear students, and to all our avid listeners and viewers here and abroad, most especially to all the grade 10 learners. Special mention, of course, to my advisory class. Hello, Tentalisay. Uh, and to the other grade 10 classes, Ten Yakal, Tangile, Tindalo, and Sinagtala. I'm teacher Beverly L. Ramirez. And with me are the other grade 10 English teachers, Ma'am Jennifer Velasco, Ma'am Venus Lintao, and Sir Dennis Mendoza. Okay, good morning to all our radio listeners and viewers via Dance FB live stream. Hello to 10 Obra, 10 Mendeleev, 10 Einstein, Rutherford, Jimmy Lina, and 10 Nara. I hope you are all ready to interact with us. An amazing morning to all our avid listeners and viewers here and abroad. I am teacher Jennifer A. Velasco. I would also like to greet my English classes, 10 Molave, and 10 Banaba, and of course, the other grade 10 classes. Ten Kamagong, Mahogany, Acacia, and Almatiga. Good morning! I would also like to greet the 10 SPJ and 10 Sinagtala and we hope you will stay with us until the end of today's lesson in English 10. Yes, Sir Dennis. Of course, thank you so much, my fellow teachers. Indeed, today is another wonderful day and we are glad to be with you as we embark on another fun-filled learning journey for our first lesson for the third quarter. Naka third quarter na tayo. And for today's lesson, you are expected to acquire important tips in making sound arguments and master the parts of an argumentative essay in order for you to write an effective one. Yes, Ma'am Debs, ano? and of course, for those who are following us via Facebook live stream, don't forget to comment in our chat box, hashtag, lesson accomplished in grade 10 English. And may we also encourage all those who are with us today to please share this live stream so that many learners and listeners will benefit from this lesson. Yes. Again, click share. Okay? All right, thank you for sharing. Okay, so before we proceed to the discussion of today's lesson, let's see if you really understood your previous lesson about writing or the parts and features of an argumentative essay. And for us to uh, know if you really understood 
many things about that topic, we shall be asking you some questions to answer. All you have to do is to key in the letter of your answer in our chat box. And gaya ng dati, winners will receive uh, 20 peso worth of low. So I repeat, key in the number and the letter of your answer. So here is our question number one. What is the purpose of an argumentative essay? Is it A, to fight? B, to argue about a topic until your opponent or your reader gets angry? Is it letter C, to persuade your readers into believing your side of argument? And letter D, to argue over a certain topic while being open to the possibility that the other side has good points. Okay, so let us see. I can already uh, see some answers in our chat box, Sir Dennis. Most of their answers is... Ano ba, Sir Dennis? Please help me. Okay. Uh, wala pa sa ngayon. <laughs> Ay, meron na sa akin. Nauna Ay, ako. Malakas ang aking internet connection. <laughs> so, most of their answers is... Letter D. Ayaw, yes. ayaw kumilos. Find out the correct answer. <laughs> Who's the first one, Mom? Is that letter D? Tinan natin, ha? Okay. Ayan, meron na. We have Blast MJ. Okay, Ten Molave D. It's Sunny letter... Castellano. Ten La, one letter Alexa D. Alexa Princess Araza. Is that letter D ang sagot, Ma'am? Yeah, Ay, the, it's, it should be letter D, sorry. Yeah, letter, letter D. D. Letter uh, Alexa, D. Princess, uh, Araza. So letter D. Ten Almasiga. Oo, siya yung nauna. Yes, ma'am. Okay. At Alexa, Princess, Araza of Ten Almasiga. Okay, okay mostly so, got the correct okay. answer. Uh, letter uh -oh. D dapat yun. Yeah, letter yes, D. Yes, uh, sorry for so the That is to argue over a certain mm, yes. topic while being open to the possibility that the other side has error. good points. Pakisend yung cellphone number sa inyong English. Teacher. Yes. Okay, okay, let's have the second Was question. Which of the following illustrates a thesis or a thesis statement? Is it letter A, is nuclear energy safe? B, nuclear energy is dangerous. C, nuclear energy should not be used because it's harmful to our health, expensive and extremely Dangerous or is it letter D? Nuclear energy has pros and cons. Paalala, please don't forget to type E, type D number plus the letter of your answer. Mickey Castro, you had your 10 Einstein number two, letter C. Okay, uh, Christine Joy Rida, uh, mm -hmm. Katempoyan 10 Tangi number two, letter C. JC Marita Bago, 10 Rutherford, number 2, letter C. Uh, Nicole Castillo, Castillo, 10 Mendeley, number 2, letter C. Okay. Yes. Sir Dennis, mukhang letter C sila lahat, no? Let's find out if their answer is correct. Let's see. It's letter C. Yo. Okay, congratulations. <laughs> Sino winner natin? Okay, it's uh, Miki Castro Cast Eugenio, Eugenio, 10 Einstein. 10 Einstein. Don't okay. forget yeah. to send your number to your English teacher. Yes. Okay, congratulations. Let's number 3. Miss Eugenio, so let's proceed to question number three. Okay. In writing the body of an argumentative essay, how many reasons or ideas should be presented in one paragraph? Is it letter A, four, B, three, C, two, and letter D, one? Nicole Castillo, number ten, uh, ten Mendeleev, number three, D. Natin. Ang binabasa ko lang ano ha, yung kompleto lang ang sagot. Dapat, Ayan, ka, Kat, is this okay. Kat? Kat Asli Lanta, Lantano Parado, 10 Tangkilid, number 3, letter D. Okay, Sa, Zarina Ley T. Santiago, 10 Einstein, let, number 3, letter D. Jane Clarice Galapon, 10 Banab, 10 Banaba, number 3, letter D. Okay, mostly answer letter D, Ma'am Bebs. Okay, Let's reveal the correct natin. answer. So, your oh, answers okay. are correct. Congratulations. Pero sinong pinakaan na unang nag-send ng correct answer? It's Nicole Castillo, 10 Mendeleev. Okay, All congratulations. Right. Congratulations. Nicole Castillo of 10 Mendeleev. Okay, again, ah, congratulations. Your answers show that you really understood our previous lesson. At this moment, now get your learning 
activity sheets and your module and here now is your RBI lesson. Enjoy listening! Wala nang makakapigil pa. Sulo, Arangkada, 106.3 Dance Radio sa Aurora, Isabela. Edukasyo'y susulong, basta nga magtulong-tulong, susulong at magkalitan. Dance Radio. Language, grammar, and literature. A program that will develop your vocabulary, comprehension, critical and analytical skills. This is the English Learning Area. English Learning Area. Only here on 106.3, the WDRFL Dance Radio. Dance Radio. For learning is amazing. An amazing morning to all our listeners, most especially to our grade and learners. It's nice to be with you again for another episode of Fun-Filled Learning Experience in English 10. It's indeed an amazing day for today. We shall have our first lesson for quarter 3. I am teacher Jennifer A. Velasco, your radio teacher for today. Get your learning activity sheets and your writing materials and let's get it started. Before we proceed to the discussion of today's lesson, let's have a review of your previous lesson. You have learned from your last lesson for quarter 2 how to compose text which include multimodal elements. Can you still remember what are the five modes of communication? Yes, ma'am! The five modes of communication are the written oral, visual, audio, gestural, and spatial. That's correct! What will you form when you combine two or more of those communication modes? We can form multimodal text, ma'am. That's right! Who can tell me the types of multimodal text? Ma'am, multimodal texts can be paper or printed, digital, and live. That's very good. How would you distinguish each from the types of multimodal texts from one another? Ma'am, a paper or printed multimodal text is conveyed through the reader's varying combinations of written and still language. It can be in the form of books comics, and posters. Exactly! What about the digital multimodal text? Ma'am, the digital multimodal text is presented through dynamic combination of various modes across written and spoken language, still and moving visual image, audio, gesture, and spatial communicative resources. Examples of this include e-posters, e-books, and digital slide presentations. That's right! And how about the live multimodal text? Ma'am, live multimodal texts are shown through combinations of different modes such as gestural, spatial, and oral language. This can come in the form of performances and oral presentations. That's very good! I believe you have already mastered how to compose text which include multimodal elements and you are now ready to move on to our next lesson. The title of your module is Writing an Argumentative Essay. 
For today's lesson, you are expected to write an argumentative essay. So sit back, relax, and let's all get started. All right! Have you ever taken a ride in a public transportation with an aggressive driver? Yes, ma'am. What did you feel? I was afraid, ma'am. Did you argue with the driver? Yes, ma'am. Because that was my first time to encounter riding in a vehicle with an aggressive driver. What did you tell the aggressive driver? Ma'am, that he should avoid being an aggressive driver because it might cause us an accident. Ma'am, I told him to stop being aggressive because it might harm not only him but also us, his passengers. We really need to remind the driver in order for him to realize his mistakes and that being aggressive puts our safety at risk. You know class, when you add more details to those arguments that you have mentioned, you can come up with an argumentative essay. Is there anybody who can tell us what is an argumentative essay? Ma'am, an argumentative essay tries to change the reader's mind by convincing the reader to agree with the writer's point of view. That's right! In addition, an argumentative essay attempts to be highly persuasive and logical. For it to be effective and interesting, it should possess the following characteristics. 1. It introduces and explains the issue or the case because the reader needs to know what the issue is going to be. 2. The essay offers reasons and supports these reasons. It should prove its point. And 3. It refutes opposing arguments. Did you get it, dear learners? Yes, ma'am! Just like the expository essay, an argumentative essay has three parts. The introduction, body, and conclusion. What is usually presented in the introduction? Ma'am, the first paragraph is the introductory paragraph. It introduces the problem and gives the background information necessary for the argument and the thesis statement. You are correct! Can you still remember what a thesis statement is? Yes, ma'am! A thesis statement is usually a sentence that offers a concise summary of the main point or claim of the essay. Precisely! The next part is the body. What are usually found in the body paragraphs? Ma'am, the body paragraphs of an argumentative essay contain the reasons. Each paragraph talks about one reason. The reason is stated in a topic sentence and is supported by supporting details. These supporting details can either be examples, statistics, personal experiences, or quotations from well-known persons. Ma'am, the body also contains the counterclaim, the opposing view that challenges the claim, and the rebuttal, the statement of arguments that negate the counterclaim. Very well said! And the last part is the conclusion. How do we write the conclusion? Ma'am, the conclusion restates the main claim and presents one or two general statements which accurately summarize the arguments which support the main premise. Exactly! Let's take a look at the following text titled, Aggressive Driving Should Be Avoided for you to better understand what an argumentative essay is. Aggressive driving is a phenomenon which has only recently got the public worried. The National Highway Traffic Safety Council or NHTSC defines aggressive driving as the operation of a motor vehicle in a manner that endangers or is likely to endanger persons or property. Actions such as running red lights, 
improper passing, overtaking on the left, improper lane change, failing to yield, improper turns, running stop signs, tailgating, careless driving, and speeding are examples of aggressive driving. Such actions are dangerous to other road users. Aggressive driving should be avoided because it causes crashes, injuries, and fatalities. The first reason why aggressive driving should be avoided is it causes crashes. According to NHTSC, between 78%, which is excessive speed, and 100%, which is improper passing, of the cases of aggressive driving resulted in traffic crashes and 96% of the drivers cited for following too closely or tailgating cause crashes as a result of their aggressive driving. Moreover, running red light, improper passing, and overtaking on the left top other categories of aggressive driving in contributing to traffic crashes. Another reason why aggressive driving should be avoided is it causes injuries. NHTSC states that the percentage of the injuries caused by aggressive driving are, in almost all categories of aggressive driving, about 100%. Furthermore, the Department of Highway Safety or DHS reports that this is due to the fact that each motor vehicle crash accounts for one or more injuries. It was found that of the 10 categories of aggressive driving, running red light, failing to yield, and running stop signs are the most serious factors contributing to injuries. Yet, another reason why aggressive driving should be avoided is it causes fatalities. Overtaking on the left appears to be the most important contributing factor in traffic fatalities as it relates to aggressive driving. Improper lane change, running stop signs, and running red light rank second through four in terms of their contribution to traffic fatalities. The above evidences show that aggressive driving causes crashes, injuries, and fatalities. Hence, aggressive driving should be avoided. Since the opening of the North-South Highway, the number of kilometers of roads in the country has increased by 1%, while the number of vehicle miles driven has increased by 35%. More cars and more drivers are also on the road, leading to more aggressive drivers. That's our example for an argumentative essay. We have the first paragraph, which is the introduction. What do you think is the thesis statement? Ma'am, the thesis statement is the last sentence which says, Aggressive driving should be avoided because it causes crashes, injuries, and fatalities. That's right! Now that you know how to look for the thesis statement in the introductory paragraph, let us proceed to the body. How many body paragraphs are there in the essay? There are three body paragraphs, ma'am. Yes, there are three body paragraphs. And how are the arguments presented in the three body paragraphs? Ma'am, the writer explained his arguments by using statistics like, according to NHTSC, between 78%, excessive speeding, and 100% improper passing of the cases of aggressive driving resulted in traffic crashes and 96% of the drivers cited for following too closely or tailgating caused crashes as a result of their aggressive driving. And NHTSC states that the percentages of the injuries caused by aggressive driving are, in almost all categories of aggressive driving, above 100% as supporting details. 
Wow! That's a nice observation! Now, let us move on to the last part of the essay, which is the conclusion. How did the writer conclude the essay? Ma'am, the writer summarized his argument by claiming that the above evidence shows that aggressive driving causes crash injuries and fatalities. Hence, aggressive driving should be avoided. Excellent! Looking at your answers, I believe you are now ready to accomplish the different activities in your module. Yes, ma'am! That's very good! We shall have more of our lesson on writing an argumentative essay after this reminder. Do you encounter problems in accomplishing the different activities in your modules or learning activity sheets? Worry no more because your teachers are always ready to guide and assist you. You can send your questions or clarifications in two easy ways. One, call or text. And two, private message. So easy, right? Remember, at Doña Aurora National High School, we make amazing things possible. This reminder is brought to you by Doña Aurora National High School in this station. Hello, I'm back! Now that you have already learned the formula in writing an argumentative essay, you are now ready to do the different activities found in your module. Let's start with the activity titled, What I Know on page 1 of your module. You will tell whether the statement is true or false by writing T or F in your answer sheets. Are you ready? Yes, ma'am! So let's have a statement number one. An argumentative essay presents one side of an issue. Again, an argumentative essay presents one side of an issue. Is it true or false? Ma'am, that is false because an argumentative essay discusses both sides of an issue to persuade the readers of the writer's stand. Correct! Let's proceed to statement number two. An argumentative essay has three parts. Introduction, body, and conclusion. I repeat, an argumentative essay has three parts. Introduction, body, and conclusion. Is the statement true or false? That is true, ma'am. You are right. Here is statement number three. The claim is also known as the main thesis of the essay. I repeat, the claim is also known as the main thesis of the essay. True or false? Ma'am, that is true. The claim or the writer's stand serves as the thesis statement of an argumentative essay. Exactly! You may continue accomplishing the activity after the broadcast. This time, let's do activity titled, What's More, found on page 8 of your module. You will choose the letter of the correct answer and write it in your answer sheet. Again, you will choose only the letter of the correct answer and write it in your answer sheet. Here is statement number 1. It is the main thesis or position of the essay. Again, it is the main thesis or position of the essay. The choices are A. Claim B. Counterclaim or C. Rebuttal What is the answer? Ma'am, the correct answer is letter A. You got it right! Let's have the second statement. It is the opposing views that offset the main thesis of the argumentative essay. Again, it is the opposing views that offset the main thesis of the argumentative essay. The choices are letter A, claim, B, counterclaim, and C, rebuttal. What is the correct answer? 
Ma'am, the opposing view that offsets the main thesis or the claim is the counterclaim. Therefore, the answer is letter B. Exactly! You may continue accomplishing the activity after the broadcast. Now, you have learned the different parts of an argumentative essay and how to write one. Let us now have a recap of what we have discussed for today. What important concepts did you learn from today's discussion? I have learned that argumentative essay tries to change the reader's mind by convincing the reader to agree with the writer's point of view, ma'am. That's correct! Any more ideas? Ma'am, an argumentative essay usually has three parts. The introduction, body, and conclusion. You are right! What else? Ma'am, in writing the introduction, you just need to present interesting lead sentence and thesis. Ma'am, for the body paragraphs, have reasons supported by supporting details or materials. And for conclusion, summarize the arguments and restate the main claim, ma'am. Those answers are very good. We shall have more of our lesson after this short reminder. Hello! Good morning! Good morning, ma'am! I have just finished accomplishing the task found in my module. How can I send you my outputs for checking and feedbacking? Oh, that's a nice question. There are actually three ways for a student like you to submit your outputs. One, it could be via online. That is, if you are capable to connect online. You can just upload your outputs in your Google Classroom or you can take pictures and send them through your group chat or messenger account. Ma'am, how about if we do not have internet connection? If you do not have internet connection, you can submit your accomplished tasks in two ways. One, you can ask your parents to submit your outputs in the designated drop-off center. Two, you can save your outputs if you have available flash drive, CD, or DVD at home and submit it in the designated drop-off center in your respective barangay. Wow! It's nice to know that there are varied ways on how we can submit our accomplished task. Always remember, for submission of outputs, you can do it via online offline, or physical submission. Because at dance, we make amazing things possible. Hello, I'm back. Now, it's your time to write your own argumentative essay. One pressing issue that our country is facing at present is the continuation of education amid the COVID-19 pandemic. Write a short argumentative essay expressing your stand on the issue, Education Must Continue. I repeat, One pressing issue that our country is facing at present is the continuation of education amid the COVID-19 pandemic. Write a short argumentative essay expressing your stand on the issue, Education Must Continue. Are you ready? Yes, ma'am! To help you come up with your essay on the given topic, let's try to come up with possible thesis statement as part of the introduction. Ma'am! The Department of Education is adamant in the opening of classes amid health concerns caused by the COVID-19 pandemic. I stand with the Deputy Secretary Leonor Briones when she said that education must continue. Wow! You really go with the department's bottle cry. 
If that is our thesis statement, what are possible reasons for us to support that claim? Ma'am, education is equally as important as health. The DepEd offers various learning modalities without having to compromise the safety of the children. These learning modalities include electronic and online media learning as well as traditional learning, hence the term blended learning. Ma'am, health sciences across the globe are still working on potential treatment and vaccine for the coronavirus disease. According to science studies, it could be months or even longer before an antiviral or vaccine is available. With this, children may as well invest their time in education while the world awaits a new progress in medicine. Those are brilliant ideas! Given those reasons for our body paragraphs, how can we conclude our essay? Mom, we can conclude it with this statement. Pursuing education at this time, given the aforementioned learning modalities, is far more sensible than letting our children become unproductive in the confines of our homes. Your answers show that you really can now write your own argumentative essay. Just remember to follow the given steps in writing one. Of course, your output will be graded based on the rubric found on page 12 of your module. You may continue finalizing your essay after this episode. This time, let's have the activity titled, What I Have Learned, found on page 10 of your module. Using the given graphic organizer, narrate in your own words the steps in writing an argumentative essay. Do not forget to mention the essential parts and elements. So what are the steps in writing an argumentative essay? Ma'am, for the first step, which is the introduction, we should outline the topic. Provide background information necessary to understand our argument. Outline the evidences that will be presented and state the thesis statement. The thesis is a concise, one-sentence summary of our main point and claim. Ma'am, the next step would be for the body paragraphs. A typical argumentative essay comprises three or more paragraphs that explain the reasons to support our thesis. Each body paragraph should cover a different idea or piece of evidence and contain a topic sentence that clearly and concisely explains why the reader should agree with our position. Body paragraphs are where we back up our claims. And for the last step, the conclusion. Here, we restate our thesis and summarize all of the arguments made in our body paragraphs. Wow! Today is indeed a fruitful day of learning. On behalf of the production team, our scriptwriter, Teacher Beverlyn L. Ramirez, Content Editors, Teacher Vicente Rodriguez, and Head Teacher Ophelia S. Routine. Together with our technical specialist, Teacher Michael John M. Tumulak. Wow! Thank you for staying with us for another session of fun-filled teaching and learning experience. This has been your language editor and radio teacher, Teacher Jennifer A. Velasco. Once again, thank you very much, keep safe, and stay tuned for our RBI Live discussion. Language, Grammar, and Literature A program that will develop your vocabulary Comprehension Critical and analytical skills This is the English Learning Area Only here on 106.3 D-W-D-R-F-L Dance Radio Wala nang 
makakapigil pa. Sulo, Arangkada, 106.3 Dance, Dance Radio sa Aurora, Isabela. Edukasyo'y susulong Basta na magtulong-tulong Susulong at magkalitan Dance Radio just heard your first lesson for quarter three. And to start with our discussion, may I ask you to decide on the given situation. Anyway, our activity is titled, Save the Sinking Boat. Okay. So here is the situation. A small boat with five passengers, including the boatman, is bound for El Nido, Palawan. In the middle of the vast ocean, the boatman announced that the boat was overloaded and it will sink. Lulubog siya. If you were the boatman, who among the passengers will you save? And why? Okay, so to help you come up with your wisest decision, here are the other passengers of the boat and their personal background. Starting off with the first passenger, who is a doctor. A 40-year-old doctor who discovered the vaccine against coronavirus. World Health Organization reports show that his breakthrough in medicine has saved millions of lives against the threat of the COVID disease. Our second passenger is an old woman. She is a 70-year-old woman who is still active in her charity work despite her age. She found an orphanage that takes care of almost 100 children rescued in the bustling streets of Manila. Her Save a Child Foundation also grants scholarships to poor but deserving students in the country. Our third passenger is a genius. He is a 5-year-old boy with 145 taas no ng kanyang IQ or intelligence yeah. quotient. Even at a young age, he is already a computer wizard. In fact, he developed a computer software that helps doctors detect benign or malignant tumors in just a click of the button. Galing naman. And the fourth passenger is your father. Your father, who was diagnosed with stage 4 cancer and was declared by his physician to only have a month to live. So, sino ngayon ang inyong isa-save? Is it the 40-year-old doctor, the 70-year-old woman, a 5-year-old genius, or yung tatay mo? Parang namang mahirap naman mag-decide, Ma'am Bebs, ano? Yes, mahirap. So, while waiting for our learners, our dear learners, kindly key in your answer of who will you save among the four passengers in our chat box. And their reason, Ma'am Bebs? Ha? May reason pa ba silang ibibigay? Or uh, just... Bigay, kung meron, uh, just make it short na short lang. Short na lang, ano? Bakit, very short. Ganun lang. Bakit nyo siya isa save? Okay? Oh, yeah. So, while waiting for our learners to key in their answers in our chat box, kayo nga ang aking tanongin, my fellow teachers here, ang mga nagagandahang Ma'am Jennifer and Ma'am Venus. Ma'am Venus? Of course, ang ating <laughs> <laughs> napakagwapo, the only rose Rob among the, the thorns. <laughs> If you were asked the same question, what will be your answer? Okay, unahin muna ako, Ma'am Debs. Ako na mauna, kasi na according to beauty ito. Sige, ah, sige, first come, first serve. <laughs> okay, maybe... I would choose, of course, my father. Eh, siyempre, tatay natin yan eh. Blood is thicker than water. No more other reasons, ma'am, babes. Okay, thank you so much, ma'am, Jen. Sino, sino ang susunod na, ano, na maganda kay ma'am Jennifer? <laughs> oh, sige, si Venus na papayag oh, na kung si second Venus? runner up siya. Sige, si ma'am Venus? Pakala ko lang ba? Ay, ma'am Venus, sorry. The guy is a beauty. Dapat pala siya number one. Okay, okay so, uh, I will choose siguro, ma'am, babes, yung first passenger. I will just a doctor, uh, uh, a doctor, 40 year old doctor, mm -hmm. who discovered a vaccine against corona. Bakit? Kasi, 
Because I remember, kapapanood ko lang kasi nung ano, nung all of us are dead. Mm-mm-mm. Sabi niya doon, yung public servant doon na, I think, old man with a pitch, basta nakablaw siya. Sabi niya doon, the hardest sacrifice of being a public servant is to save many lives over our loved ones. Parang naano lang ako doon. Wow, thank you okay. mo, Venus. Talagang nag-research pa siya. No? Pinanood ang All of Us Are Dead, lahat, yes, ng, ano, so, lahat ng episodes, episodes, para lang meron siyang ano, ma-share ngayong araw. Yes. Uh, the only rose. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, sir Dennis. Ako. The only okay. role, Sir Dennis. Yes, there will be many doctors actually. There are many charitable institution na. Uh, five-year-old boy with that kind of IQ is awesome, but weird, okay? Mm-hmm. But I only have one dad. And he can't be replaced with anyone in this world. Ah, tama. So you agree with my answer, Sir Dennis? Na no. Tayo. <laughs> 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 so ang sabi mo ay? My dad. Your dad. Your dad. Oh, no, oh, Walang iyakan si Dennis, ah. Okay, thank you so much <laughs> for your <laughs> answer. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Let us, ano naman, let's take a look at the ideas coming from our students. Okay. Ay, Ay, mga nakita na kasi ako sa ating chat box. Will you please help me, Sir Dennis? Uh, ang ang problema mo lang nagpapakita sa akin. Oo, <laughs> meron nakita ka na. Oh, ako, ma'am. Um, okay. According okay. to Ma'am Jen, that must be beautiful. Ronica Blas of mm-hmm. 10 Rutherford, sabi niya, I will save my father because sim- um, Simply, I love him, and he's the one who raised me and take care of me. Oh, ang ganda ng kanyang reason, ano? Uh-oh. Ito mong Venus, may nakita ka ng sagot coming from our students. Ay, ito ito. Oo, sige. Okay, from Arlene B. Sabado, I will save the boy because he deserves to witness how beautiful the world is. Oh, di ba? Wow naman siya. Ang ganda ng mga sagot nila. Ano? One more answer. Si Kaina Jaire. Oh, yes, Jaire na? Jaire? Jaire Tangonan. Tangonan mm-hmm. oh. Then SPJ, sabi niya, the person I will save in a sinking boat is my father because I need to stay in his sight even if it is last breath. Oh, yeah, di ba? Di ba? Ang ganda ng mga oh. sagot nila, no, Ma'am Jen? Yeah, meron pang last, Ma'am. Oo, oh, oh, sige. Okay, sige, from Darin Paul Marie Esmino Makadangdang, Makadengdeng. As a both man <laughs> or woman, I choose my dad over anyone else since I do not have one. I don't care if he, if he only has one month to live. Oh, ayan, makapasangit ni Dagito. Ang seryo, kakabsat, ano? Dear students. Dear Charo. Yeah. Dear Manong Jerry. <laughs> I appreciate all their answers, Ma'am yes. Debs. Uh, and talagang really medyo talaga. heart melting itong mga sagot nila. Mm-hmm. We thank you for sharing your brilliant answers. And you know, dear learners, our aim here is not to stir up a debate mm-hmm. or an argument, yes. but for us to find out if you can make a claim or a stand and support that claim to convince others to support you, okay? Exactly. Then if you can, you are now ready to write an, an, another type of essay which is called the argumentative essay, okay, okay. Ma'am Beth? Yes, Ma'am Jen. You know, my dear learners, when you put those ideas, yung mga answers nyo kanina, into writing and just add more supporting details to support your claim. Why are you choosing your father, the 40-year-old doctor, the genius, or whoever to say? You'll be able to come up with one kind of essay, which I have already discussed, the parts and features last time, and that is an argumentative essay. And I hope yeah. that you already learned a lot during our previous discussion about mm-hmm. this topic, diba? And... Uh, what are the different parts of an argumentative essay and what should be presented in each of those parts. parts. For us to come up with an effective and interesting argumentative essay, we need to make sound arguments. You know, whenever we talk about making arguments, there's always this negative connotation. Ano? Yeah, that there's fighting parang di mm-hmm. or, or quarreling involved. But actually, there is so much that can be done with we, or when you use sound arguments, such as, you can use that uh, in debates, in discussions or panel discussions, advocacy, propaganda, education, and learning. The question is, how do we make sound arguments? Uh, alam mo ba yun, Sir Dennis? Yes, ma'am. Actually, an argument comprises a claim or the assertion, which is what you propose. That's the first one plus the su- your support. Support means reasons to back up your claim and evidence. That is the analysis or the examples to further validate your claim and support. 
Ayan, thank you so much, Sir Dennis. Master na master ni Sir Dennis yung formula on how to come up with a sound argument. Lagi kami nag-argue ng nanay ko. <laughs> so the formula... <laughs> Biha sana siya. Kasi magaling daw siya maki-argue. Okay. The formula in coming Abain up akon. with a sound argument is, number one, of course, the claim. Sa Tagalog or in Filipino, we say, it's your paninindigan. Ano mm. ba yung katayuan mo? Ano ba yung stand mo? In... Uh, Siyempre, pa, para mas maintindihan, ni Locano, ano ti pagtak de ram on a particular issue? Saan ka ba nakatayo? Saan ka ba? Saan side ka ba? Parang election sana. O, kanino ka Ano ba? ang yung paninindigan? O, ano ba yung, yung paninindigan or pagtak de ram on Pag- a particular issue? Yeah. So, Wait, uh, after the claim, plus the support. O, ano ba ang support? In Filipino, it's suporta. Or in Ilocano, ano yung pangtarabay dun sa Tarabay. claim mo para mas malakas siya. Mm-hmm. Okay, plus your, uh, this is evidence. Okay, evidence or evidensya or pangmanekmek na guneg. Pangmanekmek. <laughs> so garod mam bebs, ti amoket. Pangmanekmek. Ebidensyan. Ebidensya in ebidensya. Kala ko ganun lang yun eh. So, you add those three, claim, support, and your evidence, your pagtakderan, plus your tarabay, plus your pamaneknek, and you will be able to come up with a sound argument. In Filipino, it's pagtatalo. Or, in taga Ilocano, it's panagsisinungbat. But we are talking about yung napintas nga panagsisinungbat. Where you exchange uh, brilliant ideas. Intellectual. Yeah. Or, high or, yeah, brilliant ideas nga hindi lang panay sa usaw. Okay? The question that follows is how do we make arguments? So, here are five tips that we should remember in making sound arguments. Yes. Yes. Okay, makinig tayong mabuti. Agdingig tayo nga nalalain. Wait, no? ako! <laughs> so, tip number one is to stick to the facts. Yeah. What do we mean when we say stick to the facts? Ask yourself whether you are communicating a fact or an opinion. Of course, what matters here most is should be factual. No? Stick to the facts. Kung ano lang yung totoo at hindi lang panay uh, pagmamarites. <laughs> yeah. And of or, course, they need to... Pag sinabi ng kapitbahay, of course, medyo hindi natin alam that They need factual. to test the reliability uh, and credibility re- of the your person. Your source should be reliable. Yeah. Pag kapitbahay, hindi masyado. <laughs> <laughs> Now uh-huh. you know. <laughs> okay, now you know. Except if that person is a reliable person. Trueness. Okay. With arguments, being objective is more powerful and effective than being subjective. So to maintain credibility, avoid stating opinions that could sound like you believe them to be facts. Meron kasi yung mga galing-galing magsalita, no? Kala natin totoo. Ngayon, istorya, tuputopo lang yeah. naman. They don't walk the talk, ma'am, yeah. babies. Okay, so let's have tip number two. Okay, here's Ma'am tip Jen. number two. Don't tell others what to do. Alam niyo talaga namang walang sino man sa atin yung we are being ordered to do something. Again, mm, don't tell right. others what to do. Don't give orders. Avoid words like must, need, and should. At alam natin yan, okay? Ayaw natin yung laging gawin mo yan, gawin mo ito. All right. Next, we have number three, Sir Dennis. Akoy, number three. Yes, okay. the number three. Number three. Yes. Sir Dennis. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ikaw pala yeah. yon. <laughs> yeah, ako talaga. <laughs> yes, strike out some uses of the word you. In other words, you need to find a new approach just in case. The more you use the word you, the more accusatory the communication sounds. Mm-hmm. Read what you have written to see where you use the word you. Can you edit the sentence to eliminate the word? Mm-hmm. Also, make sure attributions are accurate. Ask yourself, did this person really say this or do that? That's number three. Yes, okay, and yun, our fourth tip. So we have the fourth uh, tip. Jaga on side of kanina. Oh. <laughs> so we <laughs> have <laughs> full goddess. Number four. <laughs> Remember what your goal is. So, people ask themselves, what do I want out of this argument? So, let's remind, your, uh, remind yourself that there is a bigger picture and put the issue into perspective. Even if you are right, 
is proving that you are right the most important thing to focus on so natanong natin yan so mm-hmm. let's focus what you want to have or to have uh, to attain it um, yung mga goals natin dapat uh, alam natin yun sa ganun nung okay and thank you ma'am Venus our last tip in making sound argument number five videos. yes <laughs> Put yourself in the other person's uh, person's shoe, pero wag mong iuwi, ha? And consider <laughs> their reaction. Think of others, sabi niya doon. How would they react to your arguments? Consider the overall tone of the communication. Yes. You should know that opinions, orders, or, or, or threats really get results, guys. Yeah. Dapat nakarelate ka, di ba? Yes. Uh, uh, nakarelate. You empathize. Ilagay mo. Yeah. Ika- ikabil mo, J. Ikabil mo, J. Ibagig. Uh, ija- Ibagig mo, J. Ibagig. Ibagig kanya na. Put yourself into the other's ano, place oh, para alam mo yung pinanggugutan niya. Paano pag hindi magka-size? <laughs> Ayun lang. Bili na lang. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's very literal. <laughs> okay. So, there you have it, my dear listeners. The five tips in making Yes. arguments okay. so to better understand that very simple formula mm-hmm. and how shall we use it in our argumentative essay let's take a look uh, let's take a look at this example yes so the issue that we're going to, to talk about in our example here is the use of cell phones in school okay so let's uh, start with the first part of the essay which is the introduction Last month, my father was rushed to the hospital with a heart attack at 9 a.m. So that's the hook, yung attention getter natin, to get the attention of the reader. So background information, everybody was worried that he wasn't going to live. They took him to the memorial hospital where he had several more heart attacks. Mm -hmm. My mom tried to call the school all morning to get in touch with me. But the phones were busy every time she tried. I was in biology dissecting frogs while my father was dying. And so the thesis statement of this essay is, schools should rethink the ban on cell phones since this is the major way that parents communicate with their children. So that is our thesis statement. If you remember, my dear learners, during our first discussion, when I discussed with you the parts of an argumentative essay, I kept on I kept on telling you that usually it is in the introduction where we put the thesis statement or our claim in an argumentative essay. Okay, so I repeat, I uh, I kept on telling you that thesis statements are usually found in the intro. But I would like to share with you something. In a study conducted about writing argumentative essay, mm-hmm. wherein they have, as respondents, we have two groups of people, the Tagalogs and the Ilocanos. Let's find out what, uh, what, uh, what's the result and what does that result reveal, reveal about the Tagalogs and Ilocanos, specifically in, uh, when they were asked to write an argumentative essay. Saan kaya nila nilagay yung kanilang thesis, thesis statement. statement? Hinalo kaya nila yung sinabi ko na dapat ay sa introduction. introduction. Okay, so let's start with the results coming from the Tagalogs. So ito yung ano, result ng study. Most of the Tagalog respondents place their thesis statement in the beginning part of the essay. Ayun, so nag-follow sila, karamihan They daw sa kanila in the thesis statement. What does this result reveal? This can be related to their preference of staying in their locality rather than moving to other places. So, hindi sila yung papalipat-lipat. No? Thus, making the most out of their lives in the same place. So, that is uh, about the Tagalog. You know, the Tagalog respondents. And what about the Ilocano respondents? Saan naman kaya nilagay yung kanilang this is a statement in their argumentative essay. So, it says here, the Ilocanos place it in different locations. May nagsulat ng this is statement sa introduction, may naglagay sa body part, at may naglagay sa ending part. What does this result reveal about the Ilocanos? Okay. 
This is reflective of their adventurous nature since mm -hmm. Ilocano people are known as wanderers. They go from one place to another. Yeah. And they are adventurous. Tama ba yun? Now we are ano kasi Ilocana ako. Tama ba na tayo In the olden sa times, Ma'am Bev, sabi nga, uh -oh. NPA, no permanent oh, no, address. No permanent uh -oh. address. They would go to the place where they would live. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Talagang so, isarak damit. Uh -oh. One uh -oh. place to another. Hanggang mm -hmm. mak uh, makahanap siguro sila ng lugar na mas feeling nila, doon sila, sila sa ano, mas comfortable and everything. Doon na sila nag i -stay. Okay. Yeah. Wanderers, ang mga Ilocano daw are wanderers and adventurers. adventurers. Traits which were also revealed in their writing. Tira nyo nga naman ano, yung culture natin, yung personality natin has something to do with our, our way of writing, writing or doing things. Yeah. It reflects. Okay? Okay, and so speaking of ano, mga minorities natin or IPs natin, let us take inspiration from one famous essayist. Because we are talking about argumentative, argumentative essay. essay no? yeah. He is an essayist from Cagayan Valley. Ayan, oh. malapit lang. Specifically in Batanes. Which is considered, Batanes is considered as a far-flung destination. Kasi nga, because of its somewhat seclusion from its busier and more crowded neighboring province. He is Mr. Florendo, Florentino, I should say, Ornedo. An Ivatan, oh, who is a recipient of Palangka Awards for Literature in 1989 because of his winning essay titled Discourse of Power in Florante at Laura. Galing naman, no? Kaya lang, syempre, magpapaturo sana tayo. Kaya lang, patay na pala siya. At the age of 77. And speaking of culture, we all know very well that one thing that we should know about the Ivatan people is that of their adorable honesty. While this value is, uh, uh, while this human value is hard to find in other places in Batanes, it is at the heart of their culture. Kaya nga they are known about uh, dun nagsumikat yung honesty store. Honest store, yeah, honesty, honesty store. store. Oh, kahit walang nagbabantay. They trust people so much. Ganun oh, kalaki ang tiwala nila. Kasi sa, because they are honest. Ano kan talaga nila na mm. honest sa kanila. And another thing is that despite how modern their li lives are today, the Filipino spirit of Bayanihan is still, still very much alive, alive in Batanes. And you can find that among the Ivatans. So, have you learned something from that? So that's for our introduction. Let's have the second part, which is the body of our essay. Ma'am Je? Okay, Ma'am Debs, no? Tapos na siya sa ating introduction. Of course, in the introduction, you have found there the thesis statement. And that thesis statement must be supported in our body paragraphs with reasons. So, one reason per body paragraph. So, I would discuss with you the first body or first paragraph. And here is reason number one. Safety is the major concern of parents who want their children to be able to contact them quickly and easily should they find themselves in a perilous situation. Kagayon kanina, emergency yon. And we have here the supporting details in black. Okay? So, again, let's have now the body paragraph number two. Another reason to be given by Mom Venus. Yes, ma'am. So, let's proceed with the body paragraph two. So, here, uh, here is our reason number two. There are many situations where children might be potentially in danger and could see the phones to get help. So that is our reason number two. So to support our reason number two, the following sentences are our supporting details. For example, Jason Lee says that if you had an earthquake or a lockdown, it would be important to contact someone beyond the school without having to go to the office. Or imagine the worst case scenario, a hostage situation or a terrorist situation in New York, nine over 11 victims were able to communicate with families for the last time on their cell phones. What if they had kept to the rules and observed the ban on cell phone use on planes? We would never have known what happened on the fight. So yun okay. nakikita natin dyan yung reason number two and our supporting details. Thanks that now, they have brought with them their phones. Yes, ma'am. Let's proceed with number three. Body Dennis. paragraph three. Yes, number three. Ah, as you can see, mga anak, may kita nyo dyan, meron tayong tinatawag na reason number three, the counterclaim, and the rebuttal. Counterclaim rebuttal will be explained later on by yes. uh, teacher Beverly. Ayan. Ed 
everyone carries a cell phone these days with him or her. Kids will still bring their phones regardless of the ban. Okay, that's a reason number three. Cell phones are necessary and administrators should allow them under certain rules. For example, they should be off during class time and only be used at lunch and after school. Students' <laughs> phones should be confiscated if they are used during class. There are good reasons for the cell phone ban, such as students using them to cheat on tests, another is that they can be used to organize illegal activities such as fight or truancy. That's yes. the counterclaim. Now, but cheating, fighting, and truancy have been going on for much longer than students have had cell phones. Kids will always find a way to communicate about those things. That's the bottom. Okay, so ano bang pagkakaiba ng counterclaim at ng rebuttal? I have already explained this last time, so i-review ko lang konti. Ano? Counterclaim is your statement that contradicts your claim. Ito yung pangantra mo sa claim mo na feeling mo, ito yung ano, sasabihin din nung nagpa-contradict dun sa stand mo later yeah. na babasa ng iyong argumentative essay. And this is usually found anywhere within the body paragraphs. Kung may counterclaim ka, syempre, dito nan papasok yung rebuttal. Ano naman yung response mo dito sa tingin mo na sasabihin nung kokontra dun sa yung claim? And iyon yung tinatawag na rebuttal. Your response to the counterclaim which further supports your claim. Okay, and then for the last part, Ma'am Venus. Okay, so let's have the last part of our argumentative essay which is the conclusion. Okay, so you listen very carefully. So, my father is back at home now, but he won't be back at work for several more months. Since parents are so concerned about our safety, school should consider allowing the students use of cell phones. So, yung susunod kong sentence, this is our call to action. So the, the thing is, students might be taught when or how to use their gadgets properly to aid them in their studies and to ensure communication with their loved ones, especially during times of emergency. Okay, thank you, Ma'am Venus. Yes, Ma and Jen. thank you, dear teachers, for comprehensive discussion of the parts and information to be included in writing argumentative essay. So in the example argumentative essay, we were, only, we were not only given reasons and details of why the use of cell phones must be allowed in school, especially for emergency purposes. Dito nakita natin na talaga namang mobile phones play vital role in bringing family members together through constant communication. Yes, I okay. agree with that, Ma'am Jen. Ano? Kaya nga, gustong gusto ko yung isang slogan noong unang panahon. <laughs> yeah. It says, uh, cell phones are used to connect people. Kaya yung slogan niya ay connecting people. Yeah. Mas especially, ano, for our family members who are living far away from us. Though, di ko personally na napagdaana, napakahirap siguro ng kalagayan, no? Most especially families na nasa, families or yung ano, couple na naka LDR, yung long distance relationship mo. Oh, tas tas ng kamay oh, natin this dyan, no? Oh, this is really a great challenge sa mag-asawa. At ganun din, of course, sa kanilang mga anak. Di ba, Ma'am Venus? Yes, Ma'am, that's right. So, most, especially in the, of the, in the olden days, it's mm -hmm. hard to communicate with people who are far away with us. Uh, not everyone has that means of communication dati kasi hindi pa naman uso noon. Ang hirap kaya noon. And it, oh, oh. cell phone kasi noon is very expensive. Oh, oh. Tsaka so, ano pa lang noon, landline. Yes ma'am, yung yeah, cell phone Mahirap makikommunicate. Diba, antena. Oh, yung malaking antena. Oh, correct. But today, thanks to cheap cell phones and different load promo. So ngayon ata, I think, ang keypad cell phone natin is worth 500 pesos. Oh, nakakabili ka na ng 500 yes, pesos. Yes, keep yung keypad natin. And then, yung mga load natin, even 5 pesos, meron tayong combo promo. Sulit text 5. Ay, yeah. nakamakinig lang sila dito. Libre pa, libre pa load nila. Yes, yung sulit oh. text 5 natin, di ba ma? May 25 text na tayo for good for one day and pwede pa tayong umutang for emergency. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Tama. As a kanoon talaga, cellphone is a sign na may kakayanan yung tao. Oh, okay? okay? Yeah, it's a law. Oh. Oh. Ngayon, kahit, kahit na, na walang kakayanan talaga, yung, kahit, regardless na mahirap, mayaman, lahat oh, okay. ngayon talaga may phone kasi na. Hindi, hindi na kasi it's, it's not a want, it's a need already, di ba? It's no longer okay. a luxury. Yeah. Oh, Tama yan, man. Correct. 
na, ay balik ko lang kayo na Ma'am Bebs, nasabi mo ang hirap ng sitwasyon talaga kung oh, magkalayo. Ko mahirap. Yeah, Kaya napagdadaanan ko 'yan, okay? Napagdadaanan Ma'am Chen. Oh. Hindi <laughs> naman. <laughs> Ikaw ang makakasabi. Ako na pagdadaanan ko 'yan. <laughs> Hindi lang talaga obvious sa akin kahit ipinagdadaan ako Sir Dennis, ganyan ako kagaling magtago, okay? So para mas makita nila ang hirap ng sitwasyon lalo na pag OFWs ang kanilang partner at yung hirap na rin sa bulsa nung unang panahon pero ngayon medyo magaan na ng konti, no? You know ba, in the olden times, napakamahal talaga ng load kaya ang hirap ng sitwasyon nila. Oh, para mas maintindihan ninyo, I would like you to give this uh, I would like to give you this activity, okay? Pagko-competein namin kayo kung gaano kamahal talaga ang mga loads noon. Okay? Here is the situation. Mm -mm. If I did call is 15 pesos per minute. How much would it cost for a 30 minute call? That's okay. the first question. Okay, our dear learners, for this activity you need to look for a partner. Yeah. Dapat may ka-partner para kahit man lang dito may partner, no? Uh Oo, -oh. experience yung uh -oh. makipag-collaborate okay. yung magkalayo. Uh -oh. In order for you to arrive, LDR pa rin kasi you will be uh, discussing with your partner through GC. Yeah. Kasi we shall be giving you two questions. And of course, yung makakatatawag sa amin to tell us the correct answer will be yes. given uh, load. Okay. okay. What cell phone number? Uh, to present your answer, you may call CP number. Zero nine two seven two one three six two five seven. Okay. Yeah. Pakiulit sir Dennis para ano? Zero nine two seven two one three six two five seven. Okay. So here's okay. the problem, Mam Jen. Yes. Again, I repeat. If IDD call is fifteen pesos per minute, how much would it cost for a thirty-minute call? Kung nasa ibang bansa ka daw ha, o kaya tatawag ka. Oh now. How much will be spent if the caller will make a call once a week in a month? Once a week in a month. Dalawa ang isasolve ninyo kasi nga dalawa kayo. Okay, look for a partner and tawag na sa CP number, Sir Dennis. 0927-213-6257. How much will be spent if the caller will make a call once a week? O, 15 pesos Tawag na po kayo, ulitin natin na 0927-213-6257 Hanap na ng partner Mag-LDR muna kayo O kaya pwede na rin ang messenger Whatever is available Kung hindi pwede, walang load Pwede kayong tumawag via messenger Kahit sino na Kay Ma'am Jennifer Pwede kayong mag-messenger May data naman kami rito O kaya dun sa number na binigay namin Yes Tumawag na po kayo At magkano daw ang tatanggapin nila Magkano bang ibibigay natin Okay, courtesy of Sir Dennis He will be giving 50 pesos worth of load Kung mag-partner yan, tig 50 sila Ang yaman talaga ni Sir Dennis Thank you Sir Dennis Okay ma'am din So 50-50 Ay patay na yan ma'am Ayan Tawag na Call na Call now Okay, anong sasabitin? How much would it cost for a 30 minute call? If I need to call is 15 pesos per Meaning. Call okay. now. Zero ako na pagdaanan ko to Ma'am Bebs no yung IDD call. Nung Zero unang panahon may ka IDD ako. Pero ngayon mura na ang IDD. Wala si Sigaw. Asa ka? <laughs> Sinisigawan mo lang alam siya. Wala kayo talaga to. <laughs> Darating ang panahon magtatawagan na naman ulit sila pero at least hindi na siya gagastos ng IDD call worth yeah. 15 peso per. Ayan, wala pa pong sumatawag na sayang naman tong 50 pesos worth of load bali 100 kel dalawa kayo ha. Very lucky oh, oh. nga tayo today, di ba oh, Ma'am? Mayaman kami ngayon ha. Wala pa, wala pa tumatawag eh. 0927-213-6257. Ulitin natin sa Tagalog. Ano pa yung zero sa Tagalog? Sige nga, zero. Sabi nga, zero. Wala. Sabi nga, walang siyam. Ano ba yan? 0927. Dalang siyam, dalawa e pito. Dalawa isa, tatlo. Anim, dalawa. Alam mo yung number mo eh. Lima, pito. Hahaha. Okay, you may call us also via messenger kung gusto niyo. Pwede rin kayo, via messenger. Sino sa tawagin lang pag via messenger? Ah, pwede kay teacher. Okay, teacher na. Ma'am Beverly, pwede kayo. Ma'am pala. Basta sa amin lang kayo tatawag. Kaming apat na naka-on air. Baka tumawag kayo sa subject teacher niyo. Wala siya ngayon dito. Yes, ayan. Hintay natin. Nasayin naman ito, ha? If I did call is 15 pesos per minute, how much would it cost for a 30-minute call? 100 pesos of worth is waiting for the... Lucky caller. Yeah, I know. Okay, tawag na. Okay, 
tawag na. Oh, well, na while waiting for their answers, Ma'am Bebs, mm. alam mo kaya ang swerte-swerte natin ngayon, mga panahon na ito, oh, yung mga estudyante oh, natin, di ba? Oo, ngayon, thanks to technology Hala, din. Cheryl, oh. Magnoy, tumawag kayo para mabigyan natin ng ano yan, ha? Yeah, may computations uh, na sila. Danica Blas, tawag kayo, tawag, tawag. Okay, mag-alala, mababalitan na may load nyo, ha? Pwedeng messenger. Uh, pwedeng me- kahit sa messenger kayo tumawag, ayan. Okay, meron na ba? Uh, call Kaya po pare... ang i-ano namin, call, tawag, hindi ha? answer sa chat. Yes, chat tawag na po kayo, ulitin okay, natin ha. Para naman magkwentuhan yeah. naman tayo sandali, yeah. para oh. maiba naman. Kasi pala yung chat box na ginagamit namin. Pwede yung messenger. 0927-213-6257. Baka, bali yata yung binigay yung number. <laughs> Bakit sa kapitbahay ko. Or video call na lang kayo kay Ma'am Jen. Ayan, kaya video call. Ayan, pwede naman video call din. Kay Ma'am Jen. For Sige. this time, para iba naman, para ano, ibang boses naman ang maririnig nila sa radyo, mga anak. Yes. Though may mga computations kami nakikita, gusto namin na tanungin mismo personally sa inyo kasi baka iba naman ang nagtatype ng answer dyan sa inyong chat box. Tama iba? po yun. Yan, baka 09. yung nanay nyo o yung kapatid yes. nyo best in math. 0927-213-6257. Tawag na po kayo. Okay. So, kung sino ang makatawag, Enrico Gala. Ayan, may tumatawag na tayo. <laughs> Danica Blas. Okay. Ayan, tinga rin. Okay. Ayan. Okay, Ma'am Jen, take it away. Ay, kung siya. Hello again, Ma'am Jen. Okay, hello, Danica. Anya na ba si Danica? Hindi ko yata naririnig si Danica. Oo, parang hindi ko rin siya naririnig. Hello, Danica. Hello. Hi po, sir. Okay, yan, yeah, narinig kita. Sige, Sige, anak, how did you arrive at your answer? Sinong, Sino ka- muna ang sinong ka-partner mo? Ka-partner niya. Sir, yung letter A po is, yung sagot po is 450 po. Okay, paano mong nakuha ang 450, anak? 30 times 15 po, ma'am. Okay. Very good. That's your answer Sinang for letter A. Sinong partner mo, anak, na kasama mong sumagot dito? Okay. Okay. Hanap ka ng... Okay. Sinang kapartner mo? Dapat may kapartner ka, anak. Uh, Kasi oh. dalawang question yan. O, oh, ngayon, hanap ka ng isang partner mo para sagutin itong letter B. Oh, oh, letter okay. B. I-forward para, mo yung sagot mo dyan sa isang para, kasama mo. Para ma-avail kayo yung 50. 50-50. Oh, 50-50 kasi oh, dapat partners okay. kayo. Ano? Tama yung sagot mo sa unang sago, ay unang tanong. <laughs> <laughs> okay, our next question is how much will be spent? Okay, sige, hanap ka ng partner mo anak para may ka-collab ka, no? Okay. Tulungan okay, kayo. Ha, para partner, kahit man lang dyan, may ka-partner ka na. Oo nga. May kasama ka ba, oh, may kasama ka ba dyan? Oh, sige, bilis, i-forward mo yan. Ganun. Tawag uli kayo. Call back right away, anak, oh, ha? Oh, 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 sige. Sino? Ang ka-partner ni Danica Blas, naghahanap po siya ng kape. Tawag ulit. Oh, sige. <laughs> <laughs> Malapit okay. ng kasalang bayan. <laughs> okay. Okay, thank you so much, Danica. Thank you, Danica. Sinang kanyang ka-collab. May mga ano kasi sila dito, oh. They are working actually sa chat box sa natin. Chat box sila sa chat box sila. Yeah. But of course, gusto natin na uh, if possible, dalawa silang tumawag or yung isa ang magre-represent oh. sa kanilang dalawa. So, thank you, Danica. Sinang yung ka-partner na para you can avail of the load Hindi, panalo pa rin naman siya actually. Kahit panalo yeah. siya, oo. Oh, oh, pero dapat na, may kakolab siya. Kailangan may kakolab siya. May, may isa siyang kasama. Oh, okay. oh. Anak, sa inyong GC, if you're listening, Danica, ano, you look for a partner and Sabi communicate mo sa with her, then call na agad kayo. So, yes. still, kayo pa rin ang winner dito. Go, go, go. You just need to look for a partner, then right away, call na. 0927-213-6257. Tawag na po kayo. Tawag na. Tawag na. <laughs> Tawag na. Yeah. Parang sakay na yun ah, sakay na. Oo oh, nga pala, sakay na pala yun. Sakay Tawag na. Ayan. Okay, so naghihintay pa rin po kami. Sayang naman po yung 50 pesos worth of load kung wala na po tatawag ah. Oh. Oh. Okay. Kaya again, we would like to thank our ano, yung technologist natin. Wedding messenger no? actually, oh. no? Yes. Yes, messenger po ito huwag kanina. Pero sabi nga natin, gusto natin ng ibang way naman to yes. communicate with our students. Messenger so, actually mami tawag kanina, messenger siya. Oo, oh, oh, so, that's oh. nice. Yeah. Sinang ka-partner ni Danny Cablas. Yes. Yes, ayun na po, ha? Ah. Uh, may tumatawag, wala, wala pa rin. Uh, di pa na ito, John. Sino, um, Ayan, okay, meron na rito, oh, tumatawag. <laughs> From 0966-731-6284. Ayan, kakolab ni Danica Blas, and... Yes, hello. Hello. Hello, yes, hello. Sino po sila? From 10 Banaba po. Ay, from 10 Banaba, mga estudyante ko. Sino po sila? Ano pong pangalan? 
Stella J. Okay, sino ang partner mo anak? Wala po akong partner. Ano ang ano ang panawagan mo? Ay, <laughs> sige, sige. May sagot na yata siya. Ah, oh, sige. What's your Siya. Gusto ko they will work collaboratively. Uh-oh. Kasi yun ang ating instructions, di ba? Okay, anak. Ganito ha. Hanap ka ng... Ngayon, maghahanap ka na ng partner mo. Sino na ang magiging partner mo? Then call you call share call. that answer. Pagtawag mo, dapat may partner ka na. Nakahanap, maghanap ka ng partner mo, then call back right away. Okay, uh-huh. dapat may partner kasi collab ito. Anak kahit, ha? O oh, kahit yung partner mo na tumawag. Oo. Okay. You share that answer para kayong dalawa, okay? Mm-mm. Thank you, yeah. Ana. Kasi this is a collaborative. Para tingnan naman natin paano sila makipag-communicate. Oo, paano kayo makipag-communicate? Oh, sige, okay. hintayin namin ang tawag niyo ulit. Thank you, ganda. Oh, baka may gustong mag-ano, may tumawag pa. Sige. Ayan na. Sino partner ni Dani ka? Sino yung ka-partner niya kanina? Sino pang may gusto? Okay. Wala na. Yeah. Kung, uh, okay. Mukhang... Marami may tumatawag. tumatawag pa yata kay Ma'am Bebs. Sa yata, Ma'am Hello? Bebs. Ay, meron tayong caller. Hello? Hello? Loudspeaker? Okay. Sige, at sandali lang, anak ha. Sige, may caller tayo. Sa Uh-oh. cellphone ko naman kasi tumawag, eh wala kaming ano Sige. dito. Sige. Okay, ma- ayan. Hello, anak. Hello. Loud Hello. Hello. Ayan, ayan na. na. Speak na siya. Ah, sige. Hello, si John D. Capuli de la Cruz ito eh. Oo. Sige, anak. Hello. Bakit ba Saan yung na? speaker nito, ma'am, Bebs? Ayan, sige, anak. Ulitin mo. So, si Danica po, partner ko. Oh, si Danica, ang partner ni Mozart. Ah, okay, okay anak. So, what's Sige. your answer How for d- ano? Pakiulit ang sagot nyo, anak. For question number one, letter A. How much would it cost for a 30-minute call? Answer. Sa letter B po, 1,800 pesos po. Okay, good. Eh, yung letter A kanina, anak. What was your answer? Um, 15 multiplied by 30. Okay, ang partner niya kanina ay si Danica. Okay, still i-grant na natin, ma'ams, no? Oh, oh, oh. Partner niya so si ano. Our... 1-8 is correct, okay? okay. Sige. Thank you, mga anak. Thank you, ha. Oh, Ayan. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you, Danica thank you, thank Plus you. and John D. Mozart yes. de la Cruz. Yes. Thank you, anak. Okay. okay. Congratulations okay. to our okay. winners. Okay. Ayan okay. talaga. Yeah. So, thank you so much. So, tandaan din natin, nowadays that we are in the midst of a pandemic, almost all people turn to cell phones for communication. Tama? Yeah. Of course, yes. our CPs run out of battery, we usually charge them. So, we use electricity for that matter. Many of us take electricity for granted and the misuse of it can cause bodily harm, damage to your devices, or in worst case scenarios, magkakasuno. Therefore, we are going. Uh, we are giving you three tips to help prevent electrical fires. So, sundan natin to ha para hindi tayo magkasunog. What are these three? Number one, over, never overburden an outlet. Wag pagsabay sabayin. Wag gawing octopus. Okay, yeah. Next, don't leave your devices unattended. Bantayan. Makamakalimutan. Maging cause ng sunog. And number, number three, three, keep flammable away mm-hmm. from electrical. Yes. Those are our three tips to prevent sunog. Yes. Okay. Tama. Bang Maging chen. alerto, di ba? Yes. Para iwas desgracia. Okay. Again, our dear learners, today we did not only venture in the importance of cell phones in connecting people, but we are, but we were also given knowledge and tips on how to make sound arguments that we can use in writing an effective argumentative essay. And that includes the following. Stick to the facts. That's number one. Two, don't tell others what to do. Three, strike out some uses of words you 
And four, remember what your goal is. And lastly, number five, put yourself in the other person's shoe and consider their Reaction. reactions. Okay. okay. So for this time, let's check what you have understood from our lesson. So we will be giving you questions that you will answer. All you have to do is to key in the letter of your answer. And please don't forget to put the item number before your answer. So let's yes. have number one. Which of the following do argumentative essay used to convince reader? Is it A, ethical appeal, B, evidence and facts, C, information from other essays, or letter D, emotional appeal? Eh, may okay. sagot si Christine Joy, read that, kat, uh, katiponyan, katempoyan, sagot niya, ito yung tanggili, number one, letter C, yung pala okay, sagot. Siguro magbasa ka lang ng tatlong answer, sir. Yeah. Yes, uh, si uh, Antonia Purwell, ten kamagong, Number 1 C, mm -hmm. JC Marita Bago, number uh, 10 root report let number 1 B. Okay, okay what's the correct answer? Out. Let's find it's out. Letter okay. B. Yes. Okay. JC uh, Marita Bago, 10 root report. All right. Let's section, sir. Anong section? Section? 10 root report. Okay. Yes. Question number 2. All right, number 2. Sir Dennis Paki. Uh, number 2 in writing an argumentative essay a sound argument is blank. A, a fallacious, a fallacious uh, argument. B, a correct inductive argument. C, a valid argument with, a, with all true premises. Or letter D, an argument where the premises do not support the conclusion. Okay. Is it A, B, C, or Ryan B? Ignacio, B. 10 Mahogany, 2B. Jonah Jamai Katangunan Castro, 10 Mendeley, 2C. Kelly Saldibar, tama ba ko? 10 Mendeley, 2 C. What's the correct answer? Okay. Anong tamang sagot? It's letter C. Sinong okay. nauna? Jona Jamaica. I think John. Yes, Jona Jamaica. Tangonan Castro. No, ten men deliv. Congratulations, Jona. <laughs> and of course, number three. In writing an argumentative essay, what? Why is there a need to present a counterclaim? Letter A to show that only the writer's opinion matter. Letter B, to show that the writer is a sm is smart. Or letter C, to show that the writer considered the other side of argument. Or letter D, to show that the writer is discussing only one side of the argument. Okay. Mickey Castro, Eugenio, 10 Einstein, 3C. Jonah Jamaica, Tangonan Castro, 10 Mendeley, 3C. Misha Mercado, 10 Einstein, 2C. Okay. okay. Ano tamang the, sagot? Correct the correct answer is letter C. Uh, who is the first one to say? Mickey Castro Eugenio. Yeah. Mickey Dan Eugenio. Einstein. Dan? Einstein. Okay. Einstein. Congratulations to all the winners. Please don't Castro. forget to send your cell phone numbers to your <laughs> respective subject teachers. Yeah. There you have it, our dear learners. Mm -hmm. Our lesson for today on how to write an argumentative essay. Also, don't forget to answer the validating question about our lesson posted in our Facebook page. The question is, in writing your argumentative essay, how will you persuade your readers to understand and support your point? Paki answer Puha and we'll see you there yeah. later after our live discussion. Okay, so enjoy answering. On behalf of my fellow grade 10 English teachers, Mom Jen, the most beautiful. Thank second you. To her is the goddess of beauty, Mam Venus, and the only, the only rose, rose among, the, among the, the thorns, Sir Denis, Denisa. And Hello. our technical specialist, Sir Jashel. I would like to leave you a quote from Josh Billings. And it says, silence is one of the hardest arguments to, to refute. refute. Till next week for another hashtag, hashtag lesson, lesson accomplished in great 10 English. English. Goodbye. Bye bye. Ay, ingat ingat ha. Muli ha, texan nyo yung mga teacher ha. Mga te texan so, nyo yung mga teachers namin. Texan ang mga Thank you for those who participated. Your... Ano, sustain okay, the momentum. Thank you, thank you. Bye bye. Be with us until the See fourth week. next week. Quarter, two, quarter three lesson two. Yeah. Facts and information. Today's learning for you normal with capable teachers whose heart and soul are divine. Delivered knowledge inside your home through 106.3 Dance Radio. Fully dedicated.